What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this device. Yes, the updates has been almost stopped and let me show you the settings first. So here we have the Evolution X logo on top inside the Android version, then we have the Android version as 10 of course. Then the Evolution X version we have is version 4.4 .4 underground official build. This is the latest build and it has the security patch of latest June 5th, 2020. The stock kernel is Fixie kernel and the build maintainer is Joe Huab and the build date is 15 June 2020. In the system panel we do have a system updater, you can check for updates from here. And over here we also get this gesture panel from where you have this touchscreen gestures and this adaptive playback and stuff is there. And inside system navigation we have some system gestures over here as you are noticing. This is the Android 10 kind of gesture of course and these are working totally fine and i have also changed this gesture bar size so that's why this pill bar is quite large as you are noticing here and you can customize more things like this block height of virtual keyboard and a lot more stuff you can also use two or three button navigation if you want those let me go back and here we have also this front camera effect and you can like use these kind of front camera sounds but i usually put it to disabled and here we have the camera led too and that works super fine and also we have the google keyboard present by default here so that's not a problem if you are worrying about privacy and stuff now before i talk about other things let me talk about the flashing first you need some things like the latest firmware and the latest orange fox recovery to flash this rom so make sure you have those and the recovery i will recommend is orange fox latest r10.1 underscore 3 build and with that orange fox recovery i flashed the firmware which is the 12.0.09 firmware that is rafael in in global firmware because this is an indian device that's why i flashed that firmware i'll put all the regions firmware linked in the description box below but make sure you download and flash your like particular regions firmware and with that firmware you just flash the rom and if your storage is decrypted you flash fcrypt disabler if your storage is not decrypted which means your storage asks for password inside recovery then you do not need the fcrypt disabler you just flash the firmware the rom and you reboot if you are coming from custom rom just wipe cache dalvik system data then do the flashing and if you are coming from miui just format data and flash firmware and rom file because if you format data for that session you do not need to wipe anything and again if you want to keep your storage decrypted flash fcrypt disabler Right now, let me show you the things which I have over here. The stock camera here is the MIUI kind of camera and this works super fine. Even the front camera works as you can see with the LED it does work. And I have no issues with the MIUI kind of camera. And if I go into the video mode up to 4K 60fps option over here. So that is not a problem. And here in the slow motion settings we have this 960fps slow mo too. If you guys are like willing to have these kind of slow mo settings. And in terms of the front camera videos, you can shoot up to 1080p 30fps. And all the lenses with this MIUI camera are working totally fine. You should not worry about this MIUI camera. It is pretty stable. But there is no vlog mode over here. That's what I have been missing. Let me go back and I have also installed the Google Camera 7. This is working totally fine too. This is the latest version of Yonix. I'll put the link in the card right here if you guys want this. And with this Google Camera 7 II, all the lenses are working and even night sight with all the lenses should be working pretty fine. And also in the portrait mode and stuff, everything should be working. Portrait mode front camera picture should be working fine too. Let me take a quick one. So yeah, the portrait mode pictures are actually working. And the wallpaper which I have been using is the live wallpaper of MIUI 12. I'll put the link in the description box below so you should not worry about it. Let me show you how the animation works over here. Here we have the earth and here we have the animation. Looks quite cool, right? And if you want these MIUI 12 live wallpapers, you can find that in the card right there. And to the left of the stock launcher, we have the Google's Discover page. And this is the pixel launcher, of course. Swiping down gets you to the notification panel. If you're wondering about this header panel, I'll show you how I did this Evolution X over here. And let me scroll up. If you swipe up, we have the app drawer and widgets and stuff in the home screen are working totally fine. You should not be having any issues with the widgets over here. And in terms of the launcher customization, here we have the option to just disable the suggestions. So I like that. But there is no option to double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. But yes, of course, double tap to sleep is there on the status bar and that is working fine. Now, let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed from the always on display with the right hand thumb. And with the left hand thumb from the always on display, as you can see, the speed is flawless. No issues that I could find with the fingerprint scanner over here. 
as you can see it unlocks all the time now i'll do it from the lock screen itself again it unlocks pretty fast now let's try from the lock screen itself again quite fast now i'll show you with night light turned on if in case you guys are wondering from always on display with night light it did not work now it did so it took two tries did not work did not work now it worked three tries with the night light always on display and now i'll try from the lock screen itself worked amazingly well now with the left thumb did not work now it did so with night light you might have to try two or three times here we also have the face unlock let me set it up and show you now here from the lock screen it does not unlock right away you have to swipe up and as you can see here is the face unlock speed pretty fast in my opinion the camera pops out and right away it unlocks your device let's do it again let's try it with my eyes closed right now i'm not sure if it unlocked okay so it did not unlock so that's cool if you have your eyes closed it won't unlock the drm info shows as level one here so you should not worry about netflix or amazon prime videos in this rom it should be working right out of the box in 1080p and if you guys are worried about banking apps yes the safety net test passes right away out of the box again so you do not need magic hide to use banking apps and we also do have wi-fi calling here so that's cool the vaulty calling and calling over wi-fi is working totally fine and there is no call recording option here we only have the video calling option but yes the vaulty calling and stuff should be working totally fine and strong in terms of the quick settings panel let me show you this is how it looks like i have added some more toggles and if you want to edit and add much more let me show you what else is inside over here you can see from these panels there are a lot more options if you want to add them and there is these like app kind of quick toggles there is this fps counter so that's really helpful if you're gaming it will be really helpful you can see the fps in a lot of games like how much fps you are getting in pubg you can see right away over that screen so that's cool and the stock screen recorder over here is the oxygenos kind of screen recorder from where you can like change the resolution and then the bitrate of the video and you can change the number of frames if you want that and then also we have the audio source changing option to internal audio or the microphone audio so that is really cool you can change also the video orientation if you want that and there is also another recorder which is this one the stock kind of screen recorder this should work too but yes the oxygen screen recorder is just better now let's talk about the battery over here here as you can see on the bottom we see the battery temperature and here we have the smart charging adaptive battery battery saver mode and the battery saver actually does work flawlessly you should not be worried about it and here we have this like full kind of usage seeing option and let me show you i got about four and a half hours of screen on time and still i have 40 percent juice left so yeah battery life is decent but it's not great but yeah you can definitely get about six to seven hours of screen on time on this rom no issues and here we have also an option to like change the thermal profile each app in the display settings we have the lock screen display here we have the skip lock screen in face unlock and then always on option of course i have been using the always on display and the dark theme option is there you can schedule it if you want to and the night light works fine and adaptive or auto brightness is there of course inside live display we have some color calibration you can control the rgb and the saturation intensity and contrast and hue of the screen let me go back inside styles and wallpapers we have these kind of themes you can customize a theme from here you can choose accent colors too over here as you are noticing pretty much a lot of options are there inside clock we get some options like these well these two does not show up i don't know why let me tap okay if I tap on it, it shows up. So that's cool. Now let's go to the wallpaper section. Here we have this come alive section. Of course, you get these by default live wallpapers. You can download these options over here. These are the like present by default already downloaded. And in the living universe, we have these three downloaded wallpapers and you can download more from here as you can see. And then we have this sprite kind of option. And the color is by default set to boosted. Double tap to wake actually does work fine. You should not be worried about it and there is also this dc dimming mode if you want it let me go back to the sound settings here let me scroll down we of course have the me audio dirac here over here we have this kind of presets you can set it to youth edition or something if you want it the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just amazing 
you should not be worried about the sound quality of the drum the like headphone jacks quality and the bluetooth audio quality is great over here you can also use this hi-fi audio direct if you want to you can disable the screenshot sound touch vibration touch sounds etc from here the charging vibration etc and you can enable this ring etc volume panel over here as you can see we also have this vibrate and like haptic feedback option and in call haptics are working totally fine touch vibration vibrate for calls is there and you can also change the ringtone vibrating pattern over here now in the evolver settings of course we find the about section on top you can donate to the developer from here if you want to inside theme section we have the accent colors and you can choose between these many options and plethora of options for the accent colors are there then we have the accent color picker you can choose any color from here as you are noticing of course now let me go back we have the headline and body fonts plethora of fonts over here too so that's cool and icon shapes option is there status bar icons etc is there and also in this header image you have to turn this one on so make sure you turn this on on first then you go over here then choose the image type to static from here and inside pick image from collection over here just set something like this evolution x light or dark whatever you want so from here i have been using this middle one you can use this top one or this one or you can use this like light one too let me show you evolution x light as you can see there are plethora of options you can like switch between any of them if you want to these look really really cool and you can also pick a image from your storage so that's cool too so yeah that's why it looks like this on the top area and it does look really really amazing in my opinion and then blur behind quick settings panel is there and inside status bar we have the clock options and you can customize the status bar clock from here of course you can increase or decrease the font size date size etc and then we have the battery bar if you want to enable this you can and carrier level customization is there then there's a the network traffic indicator i have not been using it because i use a separate app for network monitoring and then we have the rounded corners you can use this if you want to you can change the status bar padding and stuff if you want that then inside status bar items we have the headset bluetooth etc icons from here and privacy indicators is there too and then status bar logo is there you can have a evolution x logo or even apple logo from here if you want that let me go back we have the battery style and from here you can change between these many battery icons i have been using this big circle you can also use the smaller circle or any other from here and the battery percentage is set to inside the icon right now you can set it to next to the icon or you can totally hide it then we have the battery percentage when charging and of course like talking about charging 18 watt fast charging works flawlessly here you should not be worried about that and then there is the volty changing option you can change the volty icons to any of them from here as you are noticing it's changing on the top let me go back to the notifications here we have the heads up disabling option then pulse on always on display this option is really good and you can change the colors of this pulse if you want to let me scroll down we have the notification light battery charging light etc and we have the blink for incoming call flashlight so that's cool inside quick settings we have the disable quick setting when locked then vibrate on toggle touch quick pull down smart pull down both are there brightness slider is there and brightness icon is there and then we have the column and row number customization for the quick settings panel then we have the edit icon and stuff if you want this now inside power menu we have the advanced reboot option also we have the advanced reboot in the lock screen and of course if you tap on advanced from the power menu you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot let me go back we have the gesture settings here we have the swipe to screenshot so this is working totally fine this is the asus kind of long screenshot edit and share options are there so that's cool inside asp gestures we have these same things again let me go back here we have the brightness control of course you can control the brightness just by sliding a finger on the shutter but we'll adjust the brightness of the screen so that is really cool now screen of power and torch is there whenever your device is locked you can hold the power button and it will like toggle the torch and here we have the status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep option let me go back to the lock screen here we have the pocket detection then fingerprint authentication and fingerprint icons are there too of course plethora of icons you will get over here as usual fingerprint animation is there and you can change between these many animations so yeah you can choose anything from here and this is what makes a difference on evolution x this is why i like evolution x with a lot of customizations there is a lot of stability too here we have the fingerprint preset color which you can change this is the light which emits from the fingerprint scanner you can change these colors and then we have the charging info and 18 watt fast charging is actually working totally fine you should not worry about fast charging in this rom then we have the clock widget option and you can customize it if you want to date widget you can customize that too and then there is this charging animation which is the small animation which happens on the lock screen over here while charging so yeah 
but there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner that's one feature which is missing inside navigation we have this navigation bar enabler and inverting layout and stuff is there then we have some volume key customization then inside animations we have the whole UI animation and I have set the screen of animation to CRT you can change it to anything if you want to then we have the quick setting toggle animation and then the whole UI animation is there in the misc settings we have the smart pixels and if we have the gaming mode too then wake up on charge you can disable that and charging animation is there again and you have to set this screenshot type to this take full screenshot and extended screenshot so that you get that long screenshot option let me scroll down you can adjust the ambient or always on display brightness from here and in this usb configuration i usually set it to file transfer so that whenever i connect my usb cable to the pc with the phone it will open the internal storage and the file manager on the pc so that's cool now talking about the performance i would say in terms of daily driving the rom has been totally amazing and let me show you by opening some apps over here let's open chrome now this file manager now facebook now twitter play store instagram now let's open something else like youtube what else let's open this google home app let's open all the apps from memory again And as you can see, all the apps do stay in memory and everything should be working totally fine here. You should not be worried about the memory management or the opening of speeds here. Everything is super fast and the UI stays super fast over here, even though I have opened a lot of apps here. And you can switch between apps just like this. So that is really cool. And again, the performance is really great. And even if you are gaming and stuff, this ROM will be really good. You can get the anti-aliasing settings and stuff. And even in PUBG, you can get the HDR and extreme settings. And here is the Android score of this ROM with Geekbench 5 side by side. So that's been it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye now.